Dr. Machino, my husband has high cholesterol. I do most of the cooking. Can you recommend any dietary changes or supplements to help lower cholesterol? Well, you know, studies show that in more than 90% of cases, people can get their cholesterol down into the ideal range just using diet and lifestyle practices alone. Less than 10% of all high cholesterol cases are due to genetic problems, but in those cases, drugs are definitely required. Now, there are two major dietary practices that will lower your cholesterol. Number one, avoid cholesterol-raising fats and ingest more cholesterol-lowering fiber, which is known as soluble fiber. So how do you avoid the cholesterol-raising fats in your diet? Well, the fats that raise blood cholesterol are saturated fat, trans fats, and deep-fried foods. So how do these fats actually raise your cholesterol level? Well, when you eat those foods, it turns on cholesterol production in your liver, and then the cholesterol your body doesn't need gets deposited into the walls of the artery by the LDL cholesterol, or the bad cholesterol. And this is how the LDL cholesterol causes narrowing of your arteries, or atherosclerosis. And as the arteries narrow, it leads to a heart attack or a stroke. So the higher your LDL cholesterol, the faster your arteries narrow. Now there's also a good cholesterol, as you know, it's called the HDL. And your body uses the HDL to take the cholesterol out of the artery wall to open the arteries up again. So having a high HDL is a good thing. How do you raise your HDL level? Well, if you're a bit overweight, you lose some weight. You do endurance exercise, you use olive oil on a regular basis. Now, what foods have too much saturated fat in them? These are the foods I want you to avoid. All red meat and all pork products, and there are no exceptions. Any milk or yogurt that's above 1% milk fat is too high. Any cheese that's above 3% milk fat, you should avoid as well as other high-fat dairy products like whipped cream, ice cream, cream cheese, too much butter. And be careful with coconut oil and things that are, have palm oil in them, like a lot of baked goods. And many pastries and baked goods have butter and palm oil and cream and whipped cream. You have to be very careful. These things raise your cholesterol level. Now, healthy protein alternatives then that have less saturated fat are chicken breast, turkey breast, Cornish hen, all kinds of fish, all kinds of soy protein foods, 1% uh, milk or non-fat milk, 1% yogurt, non-fat yogurt, and very low cheeses, ones that are under 4% milk fat. Also, I like egg whites and whey protein shakes because they build your lean mass and your immune system. Now, of course, you want to avoid trans fats, which are found in many baked goods and shortenings, and deep fried foods like French fries and sweet potato fries and deep fried calamari, those kinds of things. Are, are not the uh, desirable foods to be eating if you want to lower your cholesterol. Now, it also helps if you increase cholesterol-lowering fiber, known as soluble fiber. I sometimes call it cholesterol cruncher fiber. This type of fiber acts like a magnet, drags cholesterol and the building blocks of cholesterol out of your body in a bowel movement. And so what happens is if you keep eating this fiber on a daily basis, it can lower your blood cholesterol by 15 to 25 uh, percent, which is equal to what a lot of drugs uh, can do. So the soluble fiber can have a huge effect. What are the best sources of cholesterol-lowering fiber? Half a cup of red kidney beans, chickpeas, lentils, other beans and peas, soy beans, and even soy protein products, as well as oat bran, ground flaxseed, two heaping tablespoons a day, psyllium husk fiber, two to three teaspoons a day, and eating more apples and pears. Now there's also cholesterol-lowering supplements that are available, and the two that I really like because they're safe, they're natural, they're effective, are gum Google and artichoke leaf extract. Gum Google can lower cholesterol and triglycerides by 25 to 35 percent, equal to the effects of many drugs. And artichoke leaf extract also has a similar cholesterol-lowering effect, all performed in a natural way. So look for a combination that has gum Google and artichoke leaf extract together. I've seen amazing results with that combination. Now I'll tell you a quick story. I was teaching a seminar about a year ago, and there was a young gal in the audience in her mid-twenties who was fit and athletic and she was thin. And she came up to me and said, you know, my cholesterol is quite high, and my father's cholesterol was high. He's a pharmacist. He already had a heart attack. He's on statin drugs, and now my doctor thinks my cholesterol problem is genetic, wants to put me on a statin drug. Is there anything natural that I can do? I said, you know, your problem may actually be genetic, but we could try some natural things first. So I examined her diet. I made a few small modifications, but it was already pretty good. And I put her on the gum Google artichoke leaf extract combination supplement. And two months later, she faxed me her blood results, and her cholesterol had come all the way down into the ideal range. So 
these dietary and lifestyle and supplement practices can really make a huge difference sometimes. Now, one final consideration, don't eat foods that already have too much cholesterol in them to begin with, like organ meats and seafood or shellfish and even egg yolks. One egg yolk has 250 milligrams of cholesterol. I don't want you to have more than 150 milligrams of cholesterol on any given day. So I would urge you to follow the advice that I've shared with you here because in over 90% of cases you'll see a significant reduction in your blood cholesterol level. Now what's the ideal cholesterol level to aim for? An LDL cholesterol that's, that is below 80 milligrams per deciliter or 2.0 millimoles per liter and a total cholesterol that's no higher than 150 milligrams per deciliter or 3.9 millimoles per liter. So I hope this was helpful. I'm Dr. James Machino. Thanks so much for watching.